now we going to enter another paper of MA Economics. That is first sum PG students. First sum MA Economics students. That is the name of the paper is that is Indian Economy Problems and Policies. Problems and Policies. That is the name of the paper is that Indian Economy Problems and Policies. From this paper you can understand that. What about Indian economy? That is the nature of Indian economy. Which are the important problems faced by Indian economy? How to solve these problems? All these points or all these concepts are included in this paper. This paper divided into five important modules. That is, which are the important chapters or modules of this paper. The first important module is that Structural changes, challenges and growth of Indian economy. Growth, structural changes and challenges of Indian economy. So, what about the growth, structural changes and challenges? That is, what about the Indian economy? That is, the growth of Indian economy, which are the important factors or which are the important changes included in the structural or structural changes and third is that which are the important challenges faced by Indian economy these are the main important concepts are included in the first module and second module represent as review of economic development how to achieve economic development which are the important factors are included to review that is to increase our economy that is agriculture development or industrial development or service sector all these are included. How to achieve economic development? These are included that is, in detail in review of economic development. And third is that, that is economic planning in India. That is economic planning in India is all that. What about the nature of economic planning? What about its need? Achievements, objectives of planning and just evaluate which are the important five-year plans existed in India. Then what about Nidhi Ayok? All these are included in the third chapter. And fourth chapter shows that India's economic reforms, that is economic reforms since 1991. That's what, is, what about the new economic policy or what about the new economic reforms since 1991. After 1991, which are the important impact of new economic policy? This is included in the third, that's fourth chapter. And last is that Kerala economy. That is class is the Kerala economy. These are the five important modules are included in this paper. The name of the paper is that Indian economy, problems and policies. Among these, that is now we introduce which are the new topics are included in this paper. That is now we go through which are the important topics are included in this paper. One of the important, the important topic is that Washington, Washington Consensus. Let's explain Washington Consensus. It mainly classified there are so many components or concept here. What is that? What about the meaning of Washington Consensus? And second is that what about its history? And third is that 10 points of policy recommendations and fifth what about the implications what about the implications and last what about the crit that's criticism and what about the favorable points or merits of Washington consensus these are the main important concept explained in order to show what, what about the Washington consensus to explain what about the meaning of the Washington consensus first what is meant by consensus consensus represent as it is a part of neoliberal policy descriptions which are widely accepted that is in the case of the meaning of consensus represent as that is a part of neoliberal policy prescriptions which are widely which are widely accepted. That is the meaning of neoliberal. Liberal means too much freedom. Or here there is a freedom or 
that is freedom represent as free trade is there or free market is there or freedom of anything that is known as neo liberal policy that is liberalism more freedom or more uh, that is more free in character that is known as neo liberal policy prescriptions are widely at up here there is a me that's here there is a need of freedom is very essential that is in the year of 1980s that is mainly latin america there is so many financial crisis here to overcome this financial crisis existed in latin america here there is a need of freedom is freedom is an essential part here so to overcome the crisis existed in latin america that is here there is a need of freedom is very essential for that purpose it introduced neo liberal policy prescriptions they suggested here that's a meaning of consensus then washington consensus represents a, a set of economic policy prescriptions constituted as that is standard reform packages this in the case of washington consensus represent as a set of economic policy prescriptions a set of economic policy prescriptions which are constituted as that is standard reform packages that is here there is a so many reforms are included here all these reforms are packed that is known as standard reform packages number of reforms here that is if there is economic reform here finance that is fiscal reform is there financial reform is there banking reform is there so many reforms they are applied here these reforms that is that standard reform package here that is package means so many reforms are included in a package so that is in the case of washington consensus that's not consensus consensus represent as a set of economic policy economic policies prescribed which are constituted into no all these policies are constituted into standard reform package that is the meaning of washington consensus so firstly we can arrange we can explain what is meant by consensus consensus represent as a part of neo liberal prescriptions are widely accepted special emphasis allotted to freedom or liberalism and secondly what about washington consensus washington consensus represent as a set of economic policies prescriptions are constituted into standard reform packages there are so many reforms are included here that is known as standard reform packages here at the same time and next it is that is the meaning of here so to show the meaning here so what is the necessity of washington consensus to explain the historical side of washington consensus that is in the year of 1980s latin america faced financial crisis here so in order to overcome the financial crisis there is not only the financial crisis and fiscal crisis here then there is so many problem that crisis in the form of budgetary deficit inflation and third is the financial crisis and fourth is the economic instability these are the main crisis during the eight period of 1980s here there is a crisis like budgetary deficit then inflation financial crisis and the economic instability these problems or difficulties are overcome with the help of the introduction of washington consensus then budgetary deficit it to avoid or to remove the or reducing budgetary deficit with the help of washington consensus and control inflation is possible then avoid the financial crisis and avoid or remove the economic instability these problems are existed in the latin america these crises are overcome with the help of in the year 1989 hello dear students ningalkku endengilum samshayangal okku undengile നിങ്ങൾ ആ കമൻറ്റ് ബോക്സിൽ ഇടുക അതായത് എന്തെങ്കിലും നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ക്ലാരിഫിക്കേഷൻ വേണം മനസ്സിലാവാത്ത എന്തെങ്കിലും കാര്യങ്ങളുണ്ട് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ മിസ് മലയാളത്തിൽ പറഞ്ഞു തരേണ്ട എന്തെങ്കിലുമൊക്കെ ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ നിങ്ങൾ എന്ത് ചെയ്യണം നിങ്ങ
ini ini ni notes ni, saya description box sila kau tetapkan dah. Saya, anda ngalah channel lalu ok kerja dengan kita description box sila. Saya ada ada tu, sengal kelas terus ada notes kau tetapkan dah.